Hello new teachers. I'd like to show you your file storage called OneDrive. First you'll start by logging into your Office 365 account. When you're here, you will go to OneDrive if you're here on the home screen. Also another option is to go here to the waffle and also find OneDrive, looks like the cloud icon. Once you're here, this is where you can save all files or create folders and save files within them for Microsoft. You'll see here that I have a lot of files and folders here, but yours will probably look brand new because you haven't done this yet. So let's say you want to go ahead and create a new file. You'll simply come up here to this arrow and click new, and you can either choose a folder to create, or you can create a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, a form for Excel, Visio drawing, and many other things. Let me show you quickly how to create a Word document. So let's say I want to make a Word file. Since I didn't choose which folder for it to go in, it will go in my main OneDrive when I first log on. It's important that you call each document something so that they're not all called document or document one, document two. If you simply click up here, it will highlight it. I'm going to call this just test document for now. And you'll notice when I click off of it, it'll say saved already. This is showing you that it is already saving automatically. And then I can go ahead and start typing here. And as you see at the top, right here, it'll say saving. This does save automatically as you work. When you're finished, I recommend you wait, wait until it does say saved, like it does now, and then you can get out of it. You can either go back to your OneDrive, you can X out of it, and it automatically saves. Let me go back so I can show you what it looks like. Since I didn't save it to a folder, mine should be, when I scroll down inside of my files, just under the T's and test document. There it is, test document. Let me refresh, didn't, didn't show it. Make sure that's saved. When I scroll down now, there it is, test document I created a few seconds ago. Let's say now you want to continue working on it. All you have to do is click these three little dots and it'll give you options. You can either open it in Word Online, so that means working in the browser, or I can open it in the full Word, Word application on my MacBook. I can preview it, I can share. That allows you to go ahead and share it with maybe like a teammate or a coach that you all can collaborate on something. You can copy and make a link for it and send it to someone just to view. Download it to save it somewhere else, delete it, move, all sorts of things. So there's a few features you have there with that Microsoft Word document. Another thing I'd like to show you is how to upload. So maybe you already have files or folders from a previous workplace you'd like to save here on your OneDrive. All you have to do is click the upload button and it'll give you options. Um, in this case, I could maybe say I wanted to pull something off of my documents here on my MacBook and I just click here. Um, it might be a download that I have or possibly you put a flash drive in and so that would be down here under devices. And then once you have it, all you have to do is click on it and click choose. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to upload this and then it will automatically save to your OneDrive. Please let me know if you need any additional assistance with uploading documents or files or creating new documents in your OneDrive.